become insanely wealthy over the next few years? Well, if you're already invested into the Pulse Chain ecosystem, I'm going to tell you that you're probably already headed in the right direction. But you should definitely be setting your position as strongly as possible right now. And that means dollar cost averaging into the entire ecosystem. If you have no money, get a part-time job, get a side hustle, do whatever you can because it's going to pain you further down the road when each dollar buys you considerably less within this same asset class. With that being said, why am I so bullish on what our crypto future holds? I'll tell you. It's because we are on the precipice of more money being injected into the crypto world than we've ever seen before. We've been hearing noise within the crypto community for years, proclaiming that legacy finance and large institutional money is coming. But now, for the first time ever, we're in a situation where those same claims are being made outside of crypto and by some of the largest institutions in the world. And right now, we're all hearing noise regarding many of these mega entities applying for Bitcoin ETFs. And I'm going to tell you why this is huge for crypto, huge for our bags, and in my opinion, will expedite growth within the crypto system, within the crypto industry, um, to an extent that we've never seen before. So to start things off, what is an ETF? Well, an ETF or an exchange-traded fund is like an investment tool that lets you invest in different things without actually owning them. So instead of buying separate stocks, bonds, or commodities, you can buy shares in an ETF that represents a bunch of these assets together. One of the cool things about ETFs is that they help you spread your investment risk. So since they hold a mix of different assets, you're not putting all your money in one place. And so if one thing doesn't do so well, you've got other stuff in there to balance it out. Another good thing about ETFs is that they're very easy to buy and sell. You can buy and sell them much like any other stock on well-known platforms like Robinhood, for instance. And so that means you have the freedom to get in and out of your investments whenever you want. Lastly, when it comes to fees, ETFs usually have lower expenses than fancy mutual funds, for example, because they have active managers who are picking stocks manually. ETFs are a lot more passive, and so they just usually just try to match the performance of an index. So in a nutshell, ETFs give you a key way to invest in a bunch of stuff without actually owning it all. They spread your risk, they're easy to trade, and they are basically cheaper than other options. So what is a Bitcoin ETF? Put yourself in the shoes of a traditional old school investor. Bitcoin ETFs are like a cool way for regular folks to get into the action of Bitcoin without actually having to buy or trade it themselves. And so they let you be a part of the potential gains of Bitcoin in a super easy, hassle-free way without needing to understand all the complicated stuff that goes into blockchain technology. And in this manner, they're like a bridge between traditional finance and blockchain industry where um, both experienced newbie investors all come together, trade these ETFs, exchange the money, and make a whole bunch of liquidity. So why is this such a big thing? They've been getting a lot of attention because they have a huge impact on how money moves around within the crypto market. Regular investors bring their hard-earned cash to buy special contracts based on Bitcoin. Then the people who own those contracts take the money and use it to buy actual Bitcoin from the market. This whole process causes the price of Bitcoin to go up like crazy and makes the overall value of Bitcoin skyrocket. The flow of money within this system looks a little something like this, right? So first, people use their regular money, their fiat, to come in and buy Bitcoin. Then the early Bitcoin owners start selling their Bitcoin and putting their money into other blue chip cryptocurrencies. This makes the price of those cryptocurrencies shoot up. And then the people who had those cryptocurrencies start selling them and putting them into medium sized cryptocurrencies and so on and so on. And in the end, when the whole market cycle is finishing up, the money starts going back into Bitcoin from the smaller cryptocurrencies. This is because Bitcoin then becomes a way for people to cash out because basically it's accepted by lots of banks and other entities. And so by the time regular money leaves the cryptocurrency system, a whole lot of wealth has transferred hands from traditional finance investors to crypto investors. We saw a similar cycle happen in 2017 when the value of Bitcoin went from $900 to 19000 And right now, 
the cryptocurrency market is starting a potentially just as impactful new cycle. And people are getting excited about what this could potentially mean for their own portfolios going forward. So to explain more, we now have huge entities like BlackRock and Fidelity, among many others, coming after Bitcoin ETFs. Now, before the 2017 Bitcoin frenzy took off, the price of BTC was crawling along at around a thousand bucks. It wasn't getting much attention and things were moving pretty slow. But then around kind of the middle of 2016, the media started talking about Bitcoin more and suddenly the price started going up faster. By 2017, futures contracts for Bitcoin began trading on the CME, and a lot of people in the market started thinking that Bitcoin was becoming a real deal financial asset. This was a big deal because basically it meant that regular folks who aren't necessarily financial experts could essentially get their hands on a new way to invest. And it was like the SEC and the CTFC and all the mainstream media finally gave their approval. And boom. Bitcoin went wild and shot up past $19,000 and everyone was, was, was screaming from the rooftops how great Bitcoin was. But this time, something exciting is happening, especially if you're a traditional investor. Big players like BlackRock are teaming up with the NASDAQ to crack down on any shady stuff that they believe happens in the Bitcoin market. They're joining forces to share information and basically prevent manipulation, which is a big step towards making the market safer and therefore much more appealing to the big money. Um, these mega giants teaming up to create Bitcoin ETFs brings a lot of insane benefits that are going to allow us to see some huge upward price movement. Number one, mainstream adoption. ETFs are pretty well-known investment tools. And so if there's a Bitcoin ETF available, it's going to make it a lot easier for regular investors to jump in without the hassle of buying and storing actual Bitcoin themselves. Second thing is, is regulatory approval. If the SEC gives the green light to a Bitcoin ETF, it shows that they're accepting and acknowledging Bitcoin as a legit investment. And that kind of approval can bring more people into the market and boost confidence in cryptocurrencies as a whole as well. The next thing, accessibility and convenience, because Bitcoin ETFs would make it super easy for investors to get in on all the Bitcoin action. And instead of dealing with all the complicated stuff of buying and storing Bitcoin on the exchanges, they can just trade ETF shares on regular investment platforms that they're already familiar with. The next thing, and this is big too, it's risk management because Bitcoin ETFs can help manage risks by offering things like diversification and also professional management. This means that investors can better handle the ups and downs that come with the volatility of Bitcoin that we're all used to, but that's certainly not, and ultimately just feel a heck of a lot safer. And the last thing, um, potentially the biggest thing, is that it brings in institutional investments. With Bitcoin ETFs around, even big institutional investors who've been skeptical about cryptocurrencies can get in on the action. There've always been worries about you know, regulations, about keeping assets safe, about following the rules. But with ETFs, it offers a much more secure and regulated way for them to get involved. And so open the floodgates to a lot of money that we simply haven't seen before within the crypto space. So the rise of a Bitcoin ETF backed by major players is bringing the potential for more people to join in, for regulatory acceptance, for easier access, better risk management, and even big institutional investors jumping into the crypto world, which is going to be great for all of us who are already still here. So in a nutshell, the crypto world is about to receive a huge amount of untapped money in the system, which is going to allow us early adopters um, a chance to really reap some insane rewards. And I think if you're not seeing this, then you need to be perhaps a little bit more open-minded. Now, the Pulse Chain ecosystem is set up almost perfectly, in my opinion, to cast a huge net and start scooping up users like we've never seen before. We are cheaper, we are faster, and we are just generally more tasty looking than our competitors, along with a community that has the ability to create a rapidly growing network effect when the bull market swings back around and money's falling from trees.
So I would say that selling your position now is likely a mistake that could potentially cost your, uh, your grandchildren in the long run. So I would think long and hard before even thinking about selling. Strengthening your position now um, is definitely what's got the most chance of buying your Lambos and your houses. The game here is written for us to see, and it's up to us how we want to play it and to play it right. So with that being said, join the Uncaged community. Subscribe, stay tuned, because we are going to be navigating this period of time in a way that allows us to level up our finances hugely at a time where I don't think we're necessarily going to see these same opportunities again. I'll catch you on the next one.